Thing. I love you. Alright, so we got uh, Casey and Ace Deuces. Um, Ace Deuce has this matchup down pack because he plays against the Jeruni all the time. Oh. Though, she had this one again, so right. it might be a little rough like, for Casey, especially since no one plays Brawler and no one knows how to beat him. Like, I don't. I was just talking to him. I was like, I don't know what my combos go into after I hit you because I don't know this character. Yeah, I was somehow able to manage, but you were doing <laughs> good. You were doing good. It, he had to bring out the DDD to win. Yeah. All right. Holy yeah, the one thing that I realized is his up B is like his main combo tool. It combos into almost anything. Okay. Or combos, yeah, out of almost anything. Because I know that first game he kept you off stage with the shot put. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little rough if you're. Especially how raised linear. Yeah. But especially, I, I play Brawler a bit. Um, especially at low percentages, if you land in Nair into up B, that's a true combo up, up into like 40. Okay. Ooh, all right, so, it, I mean, Ace Juice took a really strong lead, but hasn't been able to close out this stock. Right. Oh, okay. so now. Loss of jump. Yeah. I'm surprised at all the stuff that trips in this game. It's so right. It's weird. Like Palu's uh, neutral B trips. Oh yeah, I that is the worst thing ever. It's like most tilts at low percent just trips. That's what I saw. I see he's really. He's desperate for the kill. Very if desperate. If he's gonna throw out these, I mean, okay, that almost worked. Oh, why would yeah. you poke me? You gross. Yeah, if he just keeps throwing out those smash attacks, right. Ace Juice is just gonna wait it out and punish him. Exactly, and you can just outzone him with the shot puts also. Holy crap! And yeah. the craziest thing with Brawler is the flame kick does not send you into free fall. And so, usually Brawler has a very linear recovery, but with the uh, the flame kick, that gets rid of the horizontal problem. So you can just side B all the way across stage. Yeah, literally. I mean, oh god. Oh. Oh. That almost killed. From Ooh, center yikes. stage. <gasps> this might be a JV3. Yeah. Commentator's blessing. <laughs> Usually he gets cursed and it doesn't happen. He blessed that, man. He said it's going to happen. So game one, Ace Deuce taking it convincingly. Yes. Um, will we see a character switch? I know he's got that, Incineroar. We saw the DDD. I don't know what else he's got. I know those three for sure. Nope. No switches from either one. Nope. Just sticking with the same character. One thing I realize is for poking, he's especially using, like, he's abusing that forward tilt because it's it seems to be very safe on shield and there's no way to really punish it. The only character who won't poke actually would be Yoshi since his shield doesn't function like other people's. That too, yeah. So, there's no way to poke. Yeah, but, and it lives, uh, it lasts longer. Like, there's stuff that I shield break regularly on every character and then I do it on Yoshi and I was like, oh, I got punished there because I thought it was going to break exactly. shield. So... <laughs> um, I have. I hate you. Don't talk to me. All right, All right so, so we're getting some combo. Oh, okay. it, right. It's basically like game one to where Ace Deuce. All right, I was gonna say Ace Deuce took the lead, struggled to kill, but I mean, Casey's. I mean, yeah, all right, he's putting in some work. Yep, it is working for him. I mean, honestly, if it's a, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. The only problem is, so, I don't want to say Casey's moves are telegraphed, but Yoshi's landing options are always telegraphed. Every time they're going to land, it's either with a nair or a downer. Right. 
I don't really see cares on stage, but alright. Oh, that oh, was almost oh, oh, it. Oh. But he still doesn't have a jump. Okay, no. And that's it. He right. really seems to be abusing, like, especially after the double jump, he is just chasing after him, making oh, sure yeah. he does not get that recovery. Because Yoshi without his double jump, is not he, he doesn't yeah. even exist as a character. Exactly. And that's it. Casey's been playing it a little bit better than game one. Right, he seems to understand the matchup a little bit more. And yeah, definitely, if it's a character you've never played against, you're, it's going to take you possibly a whole set, let alone one game, exactly. to figure out what you can punish, what you can't punish, how to approach. Right. But, but that counter, I've never seen anyone use Brawler co counter, and it seems to be really working for him. I've never seen anyone use Brawler until today. That's why I'm like, oh my god. I mean, I know they showed his counter in, I think it was like a direct. Oh, okay. And that's the only reason I knew the counter, but... I didn't even know the counter existed. When I play Brawler, I just play 1-1-1-1-1. One, 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 one. Or, well, oh. four ones, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's oh, okay. So we found Brawler's weakness, people. Get him right. low. Casey actually... He could bring this back. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. He's mixing it up. Oh, nice. I like that. I like the, oh, the grab release. Oh, yeah. yeah. One All bat right. up smash. And that will take it. So we have... Yeah, you're welcome. Who's B? Is it Minax? Or are you going to put losers on stream now? <laughs> 